My pleasure to welcome Reverend Solomon Adegbalagun to Close Flow. Good morning. Thank you very much. Good morning, and viewers. Happy Good Friday. And I wish you all a very, very wonderful experience this time there about. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you very much. I, I like that. Now, um, um, let us start with that. Nigerians are full of wishes, good wishes, you know, felicitation, uh, greetings, everything to do with uh, uh, a good neighborliness. But um, is it that we are just religious and we are not spiritual, or that we are religious and we are less committed to our religious beliefs? The problem is, is really Christianity as you know it, those who call people Christian, the disciples, were even people that are not Christians. They saw the way they were behaving. Mm. They said these ones are exactly like their master, and they call them Christians. But Jesus called his own disciples. So there are two different nomenclature. Disciples are people that behave, that are learners from the master. They do things according to the master. Hmm. They go about things about, about the master. But Christians, these days, will bear names. Mm -hmm. can be Peter, James, and John. They have no relationship with the character, behavior, and conversation of Jesus Christ. Hmm. So in that wise, we need to distinguish those who are disciples, those who are just Christians. But in Nigeria, Christianity, the way it has come, it has been so much polluted. Hmm. And therefore, that Christian character, Jesus' character, Jesus' way of doing things hmm. is subdued because of the corruptive and terrible ways of our behavior in the nation. Unfortunately, the church has not been able to make serious impact into the society. No, they do with individual lives. But when it comes into impacting the environment, yes. the church has been failing. It's not their fault, it's the foundation. It started, but thank God this day, the church is trying to correct. Church is trying to bring forth that which is good and ask people of church to go out now and go to the areas of governance <laughs> and uh, be able to make an impact. Okay, now, now, now. Now, uh, Reverend, yes. let, 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 us be, uh, let us also be uh, circumspect. Uh, the way you said, okay, uh, we have the disciples, we have the Christians. But are we saying that, that so far in the Nigerian space, we don't have Christians who are in governance? Either they are disciples or not, but are, are they not in governance? We have plenty of Christians, again, Christian on court, hmm. in governance. We have a few of them that are real disciples. They're extremely very, very few. What will a tree do? in the forest. And they are totally submerged, hmm. suppressed. Hmm. Most of the time they throw them out once they begin to go to the line to go and go elsewhere. If they find them in police and they are not trying to do, the boss will not post them where his problem is his food will be caught. He hmm. throws them out of the line. So a few of them are being highly suppressed and uh, uh, they suffer because of their Conviction. because they are very, very few. But praise God, things are getting to be different because church leaders now are seen. They were the ones that said, don't go there. They are the ones that say, well, please, let's go there. But those going there, we must be very careful. They are not the ones that are, those that are there already. Most of them didn't get there through the church. A number of them just bear Christian names. Ask them who is their pastor. Ask their pastor about then. whether they are actually coming to church? No. So when, the, when you bear a Christian, you don't read the Bible, you don't follow Jesus, you don't do what he says, today is Good Friday. Yes. And in essence, Jesus gave his life. The most pressure anyone could give in this life is, is one's life. He gave his life. How many of such Christians do we, have now? Do we now have willing to give their life for the cause well, of well, the people? No, no, that's what I was saying. Um, the, the, the point actually being made is that it is neither here nor there. It is not a question of whether they are in governance or out of governance because within the church itself, the church itself has not shown by example, by leadership example, 
that the heads of the churches or the heads of the Christian groups are actually living like Christ. That has always been a conflict. When a pastor can actually, you know, have the money to go and buy a private jet, when all the congregation, uh, you know, members are, 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 are living in abject poverty? Yes, uh, I agree entirely with you. But you see, you always see few of them, and they will be used as an example for all. There mm. are a large number of mm. church leaders mm. that are living Christian Correctly. life. Mm. They are living well. They are master's life. But a few of them, and believe you me, it is not the gift that marks out who really is working according to the Lord. <laughs> it is the fruit. What comes out of them, those that, they, that are members, it is what they do that will translate to let you know whether that leadership is really living a Christ life. Hmm. But when God blesses you, God gives you a commission. Like one says, go, because poverty was in the church before. Yes. Sometimes ago, Christians say we do not want to read medicine because it negates using drugs. Hmm. But hmm. now it's a different hmm. case. Hmm. Sometimes ago, they didn't want to go to business because it means cheating people. Hmm. But now, They've been trained to go there and make business well. And there are Christians that make good money because they were giving and showing a proper way of business making. But now they are not, they are now trying, okay, the government is full of so much of corruption. Let's start and see, let's our best go there because the best leader, the best of us are not in government. Mm. It is mm. those ones that do not come to church, they cannot pray, they don't fast. They have no time to read the Bible. Those are the ones you find in government. Most, uh, at least all of them. Mostly. A, a lot mostly. of them. Yes, a mostly. lot of them. Okay.